Good evening and welcome to Lima Senior High School where tonight WSN brings you a three reverse athletic contest as we have the Twin Central Catholic Fighting Irish here to play the Lima Senior Spartans. My name is Mark Shine. It's my pleasure to do play by play alongside Chris Luthold to our color commentary tonight. Chris, interesting track matchup this evening. Well, it is, and uh, Toledo Central Catholic is playing for a league championship, and uh, Lima, on the other hand, has played pretty well lately, so I think we're gonna have a pretty good game tonight. The, the Irish come in at 14 and three. They are eight and two in conference play. How about keys to the game for the Irish tonight? Well, for Toledo Central Catholic, they need to not look ahead. They have Whitmer on Tuesday, and they're tied right now with Whitmer for first place in the league, and they can't be looking ahead and look past this Lima senior team. The second thing is, Lima senior has a history of having really good, loud crowds. So if that's the case tonight, they need to block out that crowd and focus on their game. And finally, we think it's gonna be a close game, and so they're need to gonna hit their free throws in the fourth quarter. The Lima Senior Spartans come in at 12 and five, just six and five in conference play. They've been on a roll lately. How about keys to the game for the Spartans? Well, for Lima Senior, they need to get off to a good start. Uh, the first meeting between these two teams this year up in Toledo, Central Catholic won that 67 to 61, and Toledo, uh, excuse me, Lima needs to get off to a good start and not fall behind. Secondly, they need to rebound at the defensive end of the floor and limit the number of second shots that Toledo Central can get. And finally, again, we think it's gonna be close, so Lima needs to win the last four minutes. This is the 28th meeting between these two teams. In the first 27, Lima Senior has won 20, Toledo Central Catholic has won seven. We've got track action coming up right after this. You're watching High School Basketball on WSN. We're back at Lima Senior High School. Little Central Catholic in town. They are 14 and three, eight two in this particular season. Lima Senior, 12 and five, six and five. Tonight's scoreboard is presented by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, and Delphus. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, where home style happens here. Mark Shiner, Chris Luthold here at Lima High School. Track competition this evening. Here's Toledo Central Catholic, Mike Floyd's team. They have lost to Chico Johnson. They hope to get him back at some point. He is a senior, has a scholarship to go to Drake. Has had a knee injury all year. They hope to get him back this year. And we will put up their starting lineup for you. Number one is Michael Greenlee Jr., 5'11", senior, averaging 11 and a half points a game and three and a half assists. Number two, Noah Langford, 5'11", junior, 5'11", senior at four and five and a half points per game. Number three is Makai Lee. He is a 6'3", sophomore, 11.8 points per game. Number 10, Isaiah Benjamin. Brenneman, excuse me, a 6'2", junior, 12 and a half points a game. And number 23 is Taiwan Clark, a six-foot senior, averaging just under seven points a game. For Quincy Simpson's team, they've made quite a turnaround. They're up to 12 and five on the season, six and five in the track conference. They've got a big win over Toledo Whitmer this past Tuesday night we'll talk about. They're gonna go all seniors tonight in this senior night here. That means Anthony Mosley, 6'4", senior, almost 11 points a game. Number one is Brandon Moore, 6'3", senior, averaging 12.1 points per game. Number four, Amarian Glenn, 5'8", 5.8 points per game, a six-foot senior. Number 10 is Zion Jackson. He is a 5'10", senior. And number 12 is Kelly Shirelles. He is also a 5'10", senior. Our officials this evening, Jack Schmeezing, Matt Karafka, and Jeff Klaus. And we are ready to play track basketball this evening here from Lima Senior High School. As Chris said, our pregame, big game tonight for the Central Catholic Fighting Irish. They trailed Whitmer by half a game, and those two teams will play on Tuesday night. So big game for them this evening, and obviously Lima Senior trying to stay on a roll. And they get the ball down inside. This is Mosley coming off a big game the other night against Whitmer. Here's a nice pass cross court. And muscling up inside Zion Jackson, but couldn't get the ball to fall for him, and we'll head the other way with Michael Greenlee, Jr., and he gets the ball stripped out of bounds by Zion Jackson. We've got a pom-pom on the floor. Somebody, there we go. There, that, that, that improves the situation a little bit. You know, Mark, at one time, uh, we might think this game might end up in the 90s or, you know, maybe somebody might hit 100, but these teams now play such good defense that uh, it's just not possible. Spartans tried to get out and go in transition. Michael Greenlee Jr. knocked it out of bounds. And it'd be Spartan ball in front of the Toledo Central Catholic bench right beside Coach Mike Floyd. 
Spartans run their weave outside. This is Mosley. He finds Amarion Glenn. And now to Zion Jackson. This is Anthony Mosley Jr. here with the basketball. Or Brandon Moore, excuse me. Brandon Moore with the basketball. Brandon. The score for the Spartans at 12.1 points per game. Here's the weave headed to the rim. This is Glenn, and the first basket goes to Marion Glenn. Greenlee. He gives it up this time. He finds Leach, and now they swing it to Brenneman. Ball's tipped loose a little bit, ends up in Taiwan Clark's hands, and they will reset the offense. Brenneman, and now Greenlee. You know, Langford touches it for the first time. Spin move in the lane, Greenlee can't get it up. Here's the left-handed jumper that will bounce off the rim and the rebound comes to Brandon Moore. A minute and a half into this one. Moore tries to get to the lane and lost it. Saved on the baseline, however, by Leach. And we'll go the other way. Penetration dribble, floater in the lane that bounces out for Langford. And the rebound comes into Kelly Sherrell's hands. We have both teams starting in man-to-man, -man and the pressure on the perimeter has been pretty good. Tough to find baskets or even open looks here in the first two minutes plus of this one. Glenn gives it up, headed to the rim is Mosley. And he muscles up and scores. Anthony Mosley's having a wonderful senior year. Almost nine rebounds a game. It's just under 11 points a game. He's the best post player on the floor here. As, uh, Central Catholic really doesn't have a true post player. Really looking for somebody to throw it to. Finally throws it on top to Brenneman. Brenneman goes to the rim. And his shot's blocked. We're going to get the first foul of the game. Zion Jackson picks up the foul into the free throw line. We'll go. Yep. Yeah, you can see there uh, he got hacked on the arm. Isaiah Brenneman uh, shoots 77% from the free throw line. One of three Irish to be in the uh, double-figure scoring range, averaging 12 and a half points per game as he gets them on the board. Now two and a half plus minutes into this one. Well, Central Catholic really likes to uh, distribute the ball and pass around and look for a good shot. Mosley tips the basketball to himself, and then Brandon Moore will bring it up. Nope, oh, they're going to give it to Marion Glenn. High screen for him. Glenn pass inside. That was throw him open type situation to Anthony Mosley. That's what quarterbacks talk about, right, Chris? Throw him open. If he's if open, he, you yep, got to hit him. Threw the ball in the right yep. spot and led him right to the brim, and Spartans up 6-1. Mosley's got four of those six points. Spartans in there, good man-to-man -man defense, almost a turnover. Taiwan Clark trying to get loose and cannot into the lane, however, and a little floater in the lane will bounce around and bounce out for Leach. Here we go the other way. Here's the pass ahead. Glenn for three out of the corner, missed it. Clark headed the other way. This will be a three ball Brenneman. Splash. 23rd three point field goal this year for Isaiah Brenneman. He's got all four points for Fighting Irish. Oh, they're shooting about 35% from three, which isn't too bad. That's pretty good. Anthony Mosley backs him down and scores. You talked about him being the big, strongest player on the floor tonight. Curl cut. Not open. Greenlee wants to get to the rim. He fights it up, but that one rolls out also, and Jackson rebounds again. Spartans got their typical starting lineup waiting at the scores table. Moore wants a three look. That's short, but Mosley rebounds it. Well, this all-senior team's got him off to a good it start. It really has, hasn't it? And we talked about that yeah. before, the, before the game. That was one of the keys. They're now six subs waiting at the bench. Next time we get a dead ball situation to the rim and finishing is Brandon Moore with his first basket. It's 10-4 Spartans. Can't get a stoppage in play to get those guys in. <laughs> Brandon wanted a three again, and that's stolen. Mosley stole that one, flips it ahead to Glenn. 
And Glenn has it knocked out of bounds by Makai Leach. And here comes the substitutions into the game. For Lima Senior, it's number two, Jaquel Cotton. Number 23, Jagger Hutchins. Looks like number five, Isaiah Wilson. And uh, number 11, Amari Addy, checked into the basketball game. Number 12, that would be uh, Keishan Johnson. And I'll get the other guy who checked in in just a moment. We'll figure out who it is. That was, nice re that was a nice response by the Lima crowd. Yes, it was. Those uh, players went out. Hutchins missed his three. They did a nice job. They played almost five minutes, got the Spartans off to the lead. The other player is 22, Brian Bishop, 6'2", senior. Here's Brenneman to the rim, and that one will roll out. They've had a bunch of those. Here's the pass ahead, right to the rim. That was good transition, but Jaquel Cotton couldn't finish. Good pressure defense. Nice job that time by Wilson, forced to turn over. Here's Wilson trying to get to the rim, has to back it out. Hutchins, and now they find Isaiah Wilson on top. Lost the basketball over penetration, three on one the other way. And the ball is stripped loose, but a foul as Leach was headed to the rim, and he draws contact and go to the free throw line. Amari Addy picks up the foul. Here's our replay, thanks to Web Insurance. Well, it looks like he got a lot of ball, but it came across the arm. 2.20 to go, opening quarter. Leach gets to the free throw line. Web Insurance is our replay sponsor this evening. You can't miss his shoes, can you? <laughs> yeah. Brandon Moore back into the game. Also in will be number 11, Christian Jackson. He is a 6'2 junior, and he might be the best matchup inside for Anthony Mosley this evening. Second free throw, Leach. That one is good. 66% free throw shooter. Splits the pair, it's 10-5 Spartans. Addy trying to work the lane. The left-handed scoop shot. Battled around Addy, got the rebound. We're gonna get a held ball or a, a foul? It's a held ball. Arrow favors the Irish. Both officials had a jump ball on that. They both went up with the open hand. What I liked about that, they looked at each other too to make sure they had the yeah. same call. That's a very good piece of officiating. Here comes Greenlee. It's the guy that just checked in a moment ago, Christian Jackson. He gives it up on top. Long three ball will bounce long. Greenlee gets the long rebound. This is Bishop who just checked in a moment ago also. Back door cut and finish inside, Leach. He's got three in the game on a good pass. Yeah, that was a nice back door. Spartan leads cut to three. Brandon Moore works the lane, kick out. This will be a three ball by Wilson. And it, I think it was a good play that time. I think Jaquel Cotton knocked it off of Irish. Moore, the inbounder. Hutchins comes off a couple screen, catches it in the corner, has to throw away on top to Addy. Amari Addy, one of those talented freshmen in our area this year. Moore gets a screen from Hutchins. Step back three, short. That pass is blocked, however, as it tried to get out in transition by Moore. Greenlee spins in the lane, can't find anybody. Leach looks inside, Greenlee Jr. spins, jump hook, short. Good strong rebound that time by Addy. There's not too many second opportunities yeah. at either end of the floor. And we're going to get a blocking foul. This will be the first foul to go against Florida Central Catholic, Keechan Johnson. Yeah, we're seven and a half minutes into the game. Only three fouls have been yeah. called, which uh, not complaining, just uh, just pointing it out. Very fast-paced basketball game so far, too. 
Tywan Clark re-entered the basketball game at the dead ball. See the Spartans play last shot of the quarter. Has that look. Mariatti with the basketball out front. Counts on. And we're at 10. Here comes the play. Here's Hutchins. Went back cut is what they did. Moore got it. Couldn't finish it inside, however. Gets his own rebound. Fights it back up and couldn't get it to go with the buzzer. First eight minutes in the books. The Spartans with a three-point lead. You're watching high school basketball on WOSN. We're back at Lima Senior, where tonight's timeouts are brought to you by Metzger Financial Services, helping you plan your financial future. Call 419-225-6067 or visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. Opening quarter, 10 for the Lima Senior Spartans. That's six to Anthony Mosley, two Brandon Moore, two Amarion Glenn. Two players have scored for Toledo Central Catholic. Isaiah Brennan with four, Makai Leach with three. Very fast-paced quarter, Chris. It was. Give the seniors credit. They got off to a 10 four start for Lima Senior, um, but both teams uh, appear to be finding that shooting range right now. So uh, not too, uh, not, not a very good shooting percentage for either team, and um, and they were not able to get uh, a second opportunity as both teams are rebounding at the defensive end pretty well. Well, sometimes when you're used to being a starter and then you have to come in off the bench, it just takes a little while to get into the flow of things. And let's see if the Spartan offense picks up a bit here in the quarter. This is bounce pass into the high post where Mosley is working inside. And he strongly goes up, gets his own rebound, and puts it back in. Anthony Mosley with eight. Coming off an 18-point, 12-rebound game against Whitmer. And the Spartans won 52-46, giving Whitmer their second league loss. That was a Tuesday night game. Ball fake, jumper from the baseline. Looking shot by Langford, it won't go in. Spartans rebound again. Hutchins comes off a screen. This is Mosley. Hutchins trying to post up, catches the lob, and he will go up and I think the, sh the foul was called before the shot. I noticed Mark, uh, number 14, Bowles from Toledo Central Catholic. He's the third player to uh, guard Mosley so far. So they're switching guys on him. I missed the fact he checked in. I appreciate that. Bowles is a 6'4 sophomore. The foul went to Noah Langford, his first team second. There have been four fouls calling the basketball games, two on each team. Here's Addy comes off the screen and then hands it off to Wilson. Hutchins. Mosley into the lane. Moore backed up off a three ball. Hutchins goes up strong for the rebound, but good position inside by Clark. Good job not fouling on that. It's mm. very tempting to foul on that kind of a rebound. Pass inside. There's the guy you talked about just a moment ago, Tim Bowles with a catch and score. Neither team has made a three-point field goal in the game. They've shot a few. They have. Skip pass into the corner. And I thought I was going to jinx him into making one that time. Moore gets a long rebound. Here's the push out of the corner, and that one was close. Moore fights for that rebound. Good effort in that whole possession by Brandon Moore, and he ends up with points three and four. Well, you get three opportunities. You only have to shoot 33%. He hustled himself into a basket that time. The Spartans will drop to a 1-2-2 two, two zone for the first time. Brenneman passed into the corner, Langford. And Brenneman back on top again. This will be a three ball that'll go up from Johnson. That's rebounded by Bowles. Against all the tall people, he tries to fight it up and can't. There's more with another rebound. Mosley works inside. Good ball fake, he goes up. He's got double figures already, and that's gonna force a timeout. Toledo Central Catholic trails by seven. You're watching high school basketball on WOSN. 
We're back in Lima Senior after Metzger Financial Services timeout. Our instant replay tonight are sponsored by Webb Insurance Agency, serving Lima and Allen County for more than 100 years with offices in downtown Lima and in Bluffton. Well, so far, Chris, we're looking a lot of Anthony Mosley with 10 already. Right, and, and again, you know, he's the strongest, the best post player out there, even though uh, Central Catholics had three different guys on him. Hence the first time out of the basketball game, which went to the Irish at 5.08 to go, and the trailing by seven. The Spartans are going to stay in the zone. I wonder if Coach might change up at the timeout, but Brennan missed inside in the battle for the rebound. Isaiah Wilson finds himself staying out of the ball, and out of bounds with the ball in his hands. Now, if he would jump up and then get the ball. Uh, uh, as as long then, as he has <laughs> established position on the floor, he's still on the floor. Once he's out of bounds. Yeah. Yeah, you can't jump up like yeah, that. You can't yeah. do that. There's Brennan on top. We're going to get a foul. Somebody was fighting through a screen and see what the call is. Well, they're going to discuss it. Yes, they are. Lima was back in a man-to-man -man on that baseline out of bounds. See what the call is. It's going to go against Jagger Hutchins for shoving his way through a screen. They're going to call this an intentional foul? Yes, they are. Good observation, Chris. They're going to call it intentional as he shoved his way through a screen. And so we're going to get uh, two shots and the ball out of bounds at the point of interruption, as it's called. That free throw will rattle in, making it 16-10. Free throw made by Leach. He is now two for three from the free throw line this evening. Here's his fourth opportunity. 66% free throw shooter. He's made half of his free throws this evening, but it'll be fighting Irish basketball out of bounds, trailing by six. Michael Greenlee Jr. is the trigger man, and there's a pass to the corner. Brenneman working inside, and he will go up through traffic. Rebound comes to Jaquel Cotton. He's in a hurry the other way. Mosley's trying to get posted up again. And a little runner in the lane on a nice execution by Isaiah Wilson, his first basket. What they try to get you to do, Chris, spread you out, get your ball faked, and go to the rim. There's a turnover inside. Spartans with numbers the other way. And on a well-executed fast break, Isaiah Wilson gets fouled. He'll get to go to the free throw line. Yeah, he had a couple options to go on that. Went to the left, and uh, we're going to have two at the line. Speaking of two, the foul went to number two for the Toledo Central Catholic Fighting Irish. That's Noah Langford, and that's his second foul. Wilson, who shoots 70% to the free throw line. He's coming off a seven point four assist game against Whitmer on Tuesday evening. Bounces that free throw in for his third point. Marion Glenn is back into the game as is Keyshawn Johnson. Second free throw coming up from Wilson. Spartans have doubled up. That also allows Brandon Moore to re-enter. Wilson had a good spell in the basketball game. This 1-2-2 two, two zone, the Lima Senior runs. Yeah. They've got six foot five Cotton out on top of that. That's that's uh, a pretty pretty tall guy to put on the top of the zone. Making that ball reversal difficult, make it difficult to get the ball into the post. There's a leaner in the lane that will bounce around and fall out. Rebound, however, comes to Leach, and they have to back it out. Here's a three that'll go up from Leach. Hard, Hutchins rebounds. Still no threes made in this game. Until right, nope, I thought that was going that down. Looked, it, looked, it, it looked really good coming out of his hand, didn't it? Yes, it did. Here's Brenneman in the corner. Spartans have stayed in the zone this time, but now they have Brandon Moore on top of it. There's a pass inside, and we're going to get a foul on Mosley. His first team's fourth. Baseline out of bounds. Here's a replay of that, thanks to Web Insurance. Yep, good call. Overreacted a bit, trying to get to the basketball and could. 
Off the screen, pull up jumper. Another offensive rebound. However, it was lost out of bounds by Keyshawn Johnson as he couldn't secure the rebound. 3.15 to go. Spartans have them doubled up 2010. Chris, this is a team from Toledo Central Catholic. Average is 59 and a half points per game. They're stuck on 10. 13 minutes into this one. Well, they're just not shooting well at all. Uh, that would be correct. Somebody just, there's a three. Now we've got a there three ball. And Marion Glenn knocks his eighth down of the year. Brenneman right back at you. His is long. Pass inside, it's tipped loose by Hutchins. Where's it go? It will stay here with the gray-shirted Toledo Central Catholic Irish. Brenneman. Strip loose, steal. Moore goes to the rim, a little Euro step layup. Brandon Moore has six, and we're going to get another Toledo Central Catholic timeout. They trail by 15 with 2.39 to go in the second. You're watching high school basketball on WOSN. We're back at Lima Senior High School. Tonight's scoreboard is sponsored by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak and Delphas. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, where home style happens here. Well, the Toledo Central Catholic Chris called a timeout a little over two and a half minutes ago. And they've, won, they've given up nine to one since that time. Yeah, I would scrap that timeout speech. <laughs> That didn't work at all. Coach uh, Floyd was quite demonstrative getting after his team as they came off the floor. They have shot the ball poorly and got out hustled a couple times on rebounds, and he was not happy. They're not taking bad shots, that, though. They're just not dropping. That would be correct. Some of that's because of defensive pressure, and some of because it they're, is. Just, they're just missing a few things. Spartans are going to go man coming out of the timeout. Let's see how they respond to that timeout from Coach Floyd. And turnovers, how they're going to respond. Kristen Jackson couldn't time things up with Michael Greenlee Jr. Sticking Brandon. with the man to man. Brandon Moore comes off a screen. Hutchins on top. Marion Glenn gives it up. Here's Mosley down inside. And we're going to get a held ball situation called as Mosley spun, in, spun into a trap with Keyshawn Johnson. Well, in that time, they doubled teaming down there on yep. the block. So maybe that was a little bit of strategy change in the timeout. Yep, brought backside help. They got the turnover as the arrow was favoring the Irish. But the scoreboard is not. Clark trying to get in the lane and cannot, thanks to really good defense from Marion Glenn. Spartan man-to-man -man defense has been good this evening. Here's Clark gets a three look. And Hutchins, strong rebound, but loses it. And then will call, call a foul. Michael Greenlee at 5'11", came in and stripped the ball loose from 6'7", Jagger Hutchins. He will get to go to the free throw line because of his efforts. And Jagger picks up his second foul. Yep, he got him both with the body and, the, and on the arm. Michael Greeley has struggled this evening. He averages 11 and a half points per game and has still is still scoreless. He shoots 72% from the free throw line. And a quick look, they are three of seven. Look at an eight free throw right here from the free throw line. So well, that's 43%. Yeah, all kinds of negative shooting numbers right now for the Fighting Irish. That one he rattles in for his first point. So their free throw defense has been pretty good, holding it to 50%. <laughs> it has been. <laughs> Spartans up 14 with 90 seconds to go in the opening half. Here's Amarion Glenn, now Hutchins. And this time it'll be Quincy Simpson's turn to take a timeout. 125 to go before the halftime break. You're watching high school basketball on WOSN. Our timeouts that are brought to you by Metzger Financial Services, helping you plan your financial future. Call 419-225-6067 or visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. As we like to say, Chris, you can go to Metzger Financial Services and talk about your finances and talk one through one zone at the same time. Uh, yeah, well, that would be a good yeah, be interesting. Marty, yep. 
Matt out there. Great financial advice, and you can talk about any sports you want when you walk in and talk to those fellows out there, too. So, well, Lima Senior's on a bit of a roll. Coach has been known to do this, Chris. Call timeout, even though he's on a, a good spot right now, just because he sees something he wants corrected. Well, he hasn't called any timeouts yet. you got a minute and a half approximately to go in the quarter, so was, uh, we'll see what happens here if he's changing his defense or maybe he wants to run a set play coming out of the timeout. Looks like a set play. It is. Set play for Cotton. Here's Hutchins looking at three. They got Mosley posted up in there. They got it down to him. Here's Hutchins for three on the kick out. Let's see which way does it go? It's going to stay. That was a good set. Just to make the shot. Yep. Looked like he might have rushed that just a little bit. Ball stays with the Spartans, and that means Brandon Moore is our trigger guy. Here's Mosley inside. Backs in. Reverse pivot. Gets his own rebound. Nope, he lost it to Greenlee. Mosley slow getting back. Numbers. Nope, now he gets back. And now we'll play five on five. Here's the pass inside. Greenlee shots blocked by Moore and rebounded by Glenn. That was a real empty possession for uh, the Irish. Under a minute to go. Brandon Moore with a five count on. As he's being pressured by Johnson. There he broke it. Cotton comes off a screen. I think this is getting to the point where Coach Simpson's going to say, we'll take the last one of the quarter. Why not? Yep. Be happy with a 14-point lead a or really better. Good quarter for his team so far. Here's Mosley. Let's see what the set play is going to be. More on top. Glenn works. They have to get it off. Fourth shot at the buzzer. Well, Chris, they don't make a three ball the whole half, and they throw one at the buzzer. So Brandon Moore adds up points seven, eight, and nine on the first three of the uh, made in the entire first half, and that will push his team's lead to 17 at the break. It's 28-11 Spartans. You're watching high school basketball on WOS. Halftime almost over here at Lima Senior, where our instant replay sponsor tonight is Web Insurance Agency, serving Lima and Allen County for more than 100 years with offices in downtown Lima and in Bluffton. Mark Schein, Chris Udall. Chris, we looked at some numbers and uh, we look at their scoring average and what they've done tonight. Real struggles for Plato Central Catholic. Well, Mark, there can't be very many people in the gym that expected a 17 point lead at halftime. And, um, and what you just said right there, Central Catholic just cannot buy a basket. Michael Greenlee Jr. came in averaging 11 and a half. He's got a single point. Makai Leach averages 11.8. He's got four. Isaiah Brenneman averages 12 and a half. He's got four. They're just four of eight from the free throw line. The Spartan defense has been outstanding on those individuals as well as the whole team. Well, they've mixed their defense up a little bit. Very aggressive man-to-man, -man, especially on the perimeter, and especially boxing out and preventing second shots. But they played that 1-2-2 two, two a little bit, too, with uh, Cotton up out on top, and that was effective as well. Lima Senior with quarter scores of 10 and 18. Anthony Mosley has 10 points. Brandon Moore has 9. And Spartans get the ball first here in quarter. Number three, and Jagger Hutchins get a three that rolls out. And 50-50 ball, and it comes into the hands of Clark. Here we go the other way. Short pass, Greenlee, he's going to kick it out. And Spartans get to him in a hurry. Brenneman tries to get in the lane, and finally banks one in. Isaiah Brenneman has six in the game. Here's Mosley. Now Ten. Brenneman is back on him again. And Hutchins gets a nice pass and can't finish. Maybe it's this basket down here where the ball won't go in at. A couple good looks that wouldn't go. That was tipped out of bounds, stays with Central Catholic. Senior night here at Lima Senior. They have five seniors in their basketball program. They actually introduced 25 different people from swimming and cheerleading and so on. There's Brenneman again. He's come out and doubled his scoring from the first half for the first four points in the second half. Hutchins hands off Cotton. Brandon Moore. Moore. 
Addy had to track that wild pass down. Now he'll reset. Yeah, Coach Simpson's calling a set, isn't he? Well, it didn't work. Yeah. <laughs> Again. They are a bit out of sync right now, coming out of the locker room offensively. Here's one way to get out of sync. Give the ball down to Mosley, let him power up over everybody and score. Points 11 and 12 for him. Here's a three out of the corner. Moore fights for the rebound. But so does number three, Leach, and he gets it, and he will score. Well, he made a nice adjustment yeah. in the air to get that shot off. Little pep in the step of the Irish coming out here at the halftime break. And there's a turnover. Cotton was not on the same page with number 11, Amari Addy. Well, the Irish have outscored the Spartans 6-2 so far in the first two minutes. Spartans have gone to that zone look. This time it's more of a 2-3. Greenlee on top. Now the pass goes to the corner. Baseline move. Hutchins contests it. Another offensive rebound tipped out to Greenlee. This will be Brenneman for three. That long rebound is rebounded and put up by Leach. Nope, he gets another one shining that chance at it. This shot will go up from Langford. And finally, Hutchins gets the rebound. Spartans dodged the bullet there. They did. Gave four shots. Addy gives it up to Moore. Uh, first to Cotton, then to Moore. Here's Hutchins going to the rim. He gets it stolen. Headed the other way is Langford. Finishes. Noah Langford's first basket. 8-2 in favor of Plato Central Catholic here in quarter number three. We've played three minutes. Spartans still on top by 11, though. Cotton came off a screen, couldn't get away from Langford. Here's Moore. Jagger Hutchins. Addy. Spartan, good patient possession this time. Exactly. Yep. Here's Addy down inside, and he will get caught behind the backboard. And the rebound comes to Clark. Taiwan gives it up. Greenlee working. Brenneman's had a good quarter, fights it up, and Brenneman will draw the first foul of the second half. Well, he's taken that halftime speech seriously. Yes, he really he? has, hasn't he? Isaiah Brenneman has eight points, four in this half. And the foul will go to Jaquel Cotton, his first. Brenneman is one for two at the free throw line this evening. Couple subs in the game. Marion Glenn will enter, so will Isaiah Wilson. And it looks like Keyshawn Johnson enters for the Fighting Irish. Second free throw coming from Brenneman. That one he makes, point nine for him. Five in the quarter, the lead still double figures at 10. Moore. This is Wilson who just checked in. Hutchins. Jagger goes into the lane. His little runner won't go. Ball's tipped to Greenlee. Here we go. Here's Brenneman. Euro step to the rim. 11 Isaiah Brenneman, seven and a quarter, and leads eight. Here comes the Fighting Irish. And that ball wildly pass goes off of Anthony Mosley as he was trying to cut to the goal. Central Catholic staying with their man-to-man -man defense, and you know it really wasn't bad in the first yeah. half, giving up 28 points. Three of that was on a buzzer beater. So their defense actually was not the problem in the first half. And it has certainly been good here in the opening four and a half minutes of this half as it fell to Spartans to just two. Here's the 2 3 zone. Baseline pass. 
Clark muscles up. No, Mosley rebounds and kicks it out. It's lost. Oh, good hustle play that time, though, by Glenn to get to it. Here's Brandon Moore for three. Rebound, Tyshawn Clark. We're going the other way. Three on one. And Brenneman gets it stripped and draws a foul. Would you say Isaiah Brenneman's been active here in this quarter? Absolutely. Yeah, he yeah, he was uh, he's playing like that halftime speech was meant for him and him only. Mari Addy picks up foul number two, joining Jagger Hutchins with two fouls for Lima Senior. Here's Brenneman to the free throw line. Two for four tonight, three for five tonight. That's point twelve for him. Number 15 enters for Lima Senior. That's Javion Walton. Javion is a 6'4 junior, averaging a point and a half. This is his first appearance this evening. Our officials have to remind Javion, you have to have your shirt tail tucked in to play this game. <laughs> That's a new rule, right? Well, <laughs> there's Brenneman again. 12, looking at 13, if he can knock this one in. He keeps up his 50% shooting range from the free throw line this evening. Pass inside. Unable to score was Glamarion Glenn. We'll go the other way again. Shots blocked out of bounds, though, by Wilson. Good block and uh, good job preventing, uh, or preventing yourself from committing a foul. Brenneman with eight points in the quarter is going to get a break, and he has worked extremely hard here in the quarter. Well, we'll bet he's not going to be down very long. Greenlee is going to get to the rim and muscle up and score. He's got three now. You got a five-point game. Yeah, we do. Spartans have just a single basket to 14 points here in the quarter for Plato Central Catholic. Wilson. Brandon Moore. Spartans making it a patient possession this time. Wilson gets into the lane and the shot does not go, but Isaiah Wilson will get to go to the free throw line. It would have gone in in the first half. <laughs> 22. That's Brian Bishop's first foul. They've committed just 14 fouls on the Central Catholic. Isaiah Wilson, 70% free throw shooter, made a pair back in quarter number two. He's got four points in the game. Well, Coach Simpson was talking to the four players that aren't shooting the free throw during that uh, first free throw. So using this as a sort of as a timeout. Yeah, he does. He's very. He's always done that throughout his coaching career. Let's just stand there and shoot the free throw while he can impart some instruction to his other four guys. Six-point lead, Spartans. Under two to go here in third quarter. In the third quarter. Here's a three that's going to go up. That will bounce long. Brandon Moore fights for the rebound and then lost it off to somebody's shoe. Here's Walton. Moore trying to get inside. That ball's tipped out of bounds. Well, we got a minute, Chris. I want to throw a prop out to an assistant coach. Chris Jackson does the stat work for Coach Simpson, and he makes sure I get their stats after every game, individual team, uh, individual game, as well as season stats. And I really appreciate Chris getting that to me every game, whether we're covering them or not. There's an inside shot. Nope. Moore's going to get to go to the free throw line. Those are valuable assistant coaches and then who share the communications, I, I really appreciate Chris. Well, and that's nice that he's willing to do that. And, you know, now that we're on the media side of this, uh, we see the importance of that. Brandon Moore has nine points in the game. He's a 67% free throw shooter on the season. Has not made one or been at the line tonight. He's now one for one there. That's point 10 for him. Here comes Brenneman back in the game with 91 seconds to go in the quarter. Well, he was out for a couple of minutes, a couple of clock minutes. That was all. Second opportunity. That one also goes 11 in the game. Brandon Moore, the lead goes back to eight. Langford gives it up. 
Here's Brenneman. He's got a three look this time that bounces out. Glenn rebounds, will go the other way in a hurry. And shots blocked out of bounds by the 6'2", Isaiah Brenneman, just a junior. Marion Glenn is the inbounder. And he finally finds more, but can't get anybody open, really. That well, was a little bit of a desperation yeah. pass as time was running out. Here's Brenneman. Pass goes inside. That won't fall. Good shot opportunity from Makai Leach, but just wouldn't go for him. Spartans trying to make a double figure lead before the quarter ends. To the more move is to the rim was Brandon Moore. He'll draw another foul and go back to the free throw line. I didn't see who that defender was, but I'm surprised he got there. I thought that was going to be a layup. Here it is again. Ooh. He ball felt, looked like the ball just left his hand. Brandon Moore, free throw opportunity number three for him tonight. Make number three, 12 in the game for him. It's like Cotton's waiting at the scorer's table to check in for Moore. Spliced that one as well, 13 in the game. Spartans have kind of stemmed the tide a little bit, knocked the lead back to double figures. Yeah, it was five, wasn't it? Yep. Now back to 10. Central Catholic has another run in him before the quarter break. He's looking at the 2-3 zone. Bishop, three ball will go up. That one will splash for Keyshawn Johnson. Second three of the game for the Fighting Irish cuts the lead back to seven, and Lima Senior will play last shot of quarter three. Isaiah Wilson's dribbling the basketball out near the timeline. Spartans getting everybody organized where they want them. And we're at 10, here we go. Wilson comes off the screen. Here's a three ball, Wilson. And that is how quarter number three will come to an end. It was a good one if you're a Toledo Central Catholic Irish fan. They will go to the fourth, though, trailing by seven. You're watching high school basketball on WOSN. Tonight's scoreboard is sponsored by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak in Delphus. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, home style happens here. And Chris, as you noted in the, in the break between the quarters, it was a 17 to seven quarter for Taylor Central Catholic. And 14 to two at one time. Uh, and then uh, Lima Senior scored those, that five in a row. So a, a very good quarter for uh, Toledo Central Catholic and an okay, not great, but not horrible quarter for, for seniors, especially since they got that lead back to 10 at one point. Brandon Moore has 13 in the game. Anthony Mosley has 12 for Lima Senior. On the other side, Isaiah Brenneman came alive in that quarter. He now has 12 in the game. That includes an eight-point quarter for him in quarter number three. Nobody's in foul trouble. Got a couple guys with two, but nobody's in foul trouble. In fact, the team fouls go this way. Just two for Lima Senior and three for Toledo Central Catholic here, and they will get the basketball first in the fourth quarter. Greenlee looking. This will be a long three ball by Johnson that misses. And they hustle themselves in to get another offensive rebound opportunity. Greenlee spins in the lane. Nope. And then we're going to get a foul and a rebound by Christian Jackson. Seems like the 50-50 balls have gone the way of the team wearing gray in the second half. Yeah, you know, right there, not a real good job of boxing out by the Spartans. Christian Jackson shoots 50% from the free throw line on the season. That one's a little bit hard. He's not scored in the basketball game. 6'2 junior. That one is hard, and the rebound comes to Mosley's back in the game. 
Spartans kind of clinging to a seven point lead. See if they can get some uh, offensive momentum going. There's Cotton gets a three, and that's his first basket tonight. Jaquel Cotton has 37 threes on the season, and that one put the lead back to 10. Yeah, another set play there for him to shoot that three. Here's a three coming back at you. Clark misses, tipped around. And Wilson's able to get that rebound. And finally, well, the ball went to, into the freshman Amari at his hands. He thought he had somebody open and threw a little long. Yeah, just a, not a good decision there. And uh, that's why freshmen learn. <laughs> In fact, he's headed over to have a little discussion with Coach Simpson who will explain to him why that wasn't necessarily a good pass, exactly what he's doing. Yep. Coaching, man, is what it's all about. And the freshman will take that coaching and come back and be a better player for it. Here's Greenlee, spins into the lane, can't get any farther. This will be a three that'll go up. That's blocked, I think, out front. I think it was tipped. Yeah, I think Wilson got a hand on that. Cotton ran right to his favorite corner. And Moore backs it out. They ran a set last time for Jaquiel Cotton. Let's see if they try that one again. Got him a three. This is Brandon Moore out front with a count on. That was close to a five-second yes, count. It was. Marion Glenn now. He's got to break that contact a little bit, and then you get another five count. Moore wants to go baseline against Langford and can't. Finally hands it off on a nice pass, and Mar Marion Glenn will be the recipient of that. His team has scored the first four points of this quarter. They lead by 12, and they take a timeout. You're watching high school basketball on WRC. We've got a Lima senior timeout. They're second in the basketball game. Our timeouts are tonight are brought to you by Metzger Financial Services, helping you plan your financial future. Call 419-225-6067. Lima Senior with the first, what, five points here in the quarter. Three ball from Jaquiel Cotton. Another basket then by Marion Grant, Glenn. And they have five points that puts the lead to 12. Well, they they had that 30-25 lead at one time, but they weren't able to stave that off and get this back to double figures. That was Coach Simpson's timeout. See what he comes back out with defensively right here with 6.05 to go in the basketball game. Big weekend on WSN. We've got lots of games going on, including the games down at the Ottawa Glandorf shootout that are taking place on Saturday. Some of those will air Saturday night, some Sunday. And also, we're going to be in St. Henry this weekend. St. Henry is celebrating their 100th year of high school basketball. They play Van Wert. We'll have the game, and we'll have some highlights as well from individuals in that 100 year celebration, too. That will air on Sunday on WOSN. Here's a pass inside, and Spartans get a turnover coming out of the timeout. Pass, cross-court, Mosley finishes. He and Glenn did that really well. Mosley with 14. Is that his first two of the half? He had a basket in quarter three. That's his first basket in quarter four. He's got 14 now. Almost another steal. Brenneman works the lane. And Mosley gets that rebound, throws it out to Glenn. And Glenn finishes. You give me a basket and score, I'll give you one. Spartans blowing it open again. And this time, it's a Toledo Central Catholic lead. The Spartan faithful respond. Yep, everybody's up on their feet. At least everybody from Lima. Yes, they are. Timeout with 5.21 to go. Toledo Central Catholic. And the Spartans have got this lead back up to 16 at 44 to 28. Are you out of town or can't get WSN? WSN is now streaming 24-7 on Roku and Apple TV. Download our Roku channel and Apple TV app to subscribe. $100 allows you to watch anywhere in the world. Visit app.wsn.tv to sign up. Good flurry by the Spartans. First of all, the good pass from, from uh, Wilson to Mosley, and then Mosley gets the outlet pass to Wilson. Yeah, this has been a, a, a really good uh two or three minutes here for the Spartans. They've got that lead back to 16. You know, really, in the middle of the third quarter when it's a five-point game, that's really anybody's game. We're getting close you to know, the middle of the fourth quarter and 16, and that that's... And i got to throw a quick apology out, Chris. I got four and five mixed up. That was uh, Amarion Glenn who was doing the work uh, along with Mosley, not Isaiah Wilson. So my apologies to to Glenn, he and Wilson, uh, uh, that four and five number 
I kind of got backed up on a little bit. Let's see what Toledo Central Catholic has an answer to. That ball's chipped into the backcourt. Glenn tipped it, and he's really pressuring out front. Yeah, he is. There's Brenneman inside. He's going to try to back Wilson down. He gets some help, though. Boy, the Spartan faithful responding. You talked about crowd in the opening uh, segment we did tonight, Chris. Here comes the Spartan crowd, too. Ball's tipped loose. Mosley, Anthony Mosley headed down the floor. He missed it under great pressure. And, boy, what a nice save that time by Leach. Kind of taking a chance, though, saving it under you know, your opponent's end. And a little Euro step action, and the ball will fall for Taiwan Clark. His first basket. Here comes a half-court trap from Toledo Central Catholic, trailing by 14 with four to go. They can create a lot of fouls if they choose. They only have three team fouls in the half. Here's Cotton, short jumper, and it will roll out on him. Good look for him. Rebound comes to Johnson. And that time, as he was headed to the rim, Amarion Glenn got a hand on the ball and knocked it out of bounds. Under four minutes now. Amarion Glenn has had a nice spell here in uh, quarter number four. Got nine points in the game. Three is long. Mosley rebounds. There's another attempted outlet pass. That one got blocked. But <laughs> Cotton will throw one down. Well, the crowd likes that, don't yeah, they? Yeah, that's kind of the uh, hockey assist thing. <laughs> Mosley to Glenn. To, the dunk by Cotton. Here's a spin move by Greenlee. Just got blocked out of bounds. We'll draw a foul. Mosley's really good at that. He snaps those ball out of the area and is, is adept at finding people streaking down the floor to start their transition. Well, that was a little bit of a two pass. A little bit of a two pass. Oh, there it is. Yep. Yeah. The old two pass hockey assist. Wilson picks up his second foul and it's going to be out of bounds, not a shooting foul. Jagger Hutchins comes back into the basketball game, as does Brian Bishop. Okay. Brandon Moore, it's a break. Here's Brenneman. Good help defense. Finally gets loose and scores. Worked nice. hard to do that one. Yeah, nice left hand. It was. He's got 14 in the game. Leading score for this team at 12 and a half has got the 14. Now a little bit of a three-quarter, one-two-two two press. 6-7, Jagger Hutchins in the middle is the outlet man. Here's Wilson and Glenn playing catch. Cotton. Jaquel Cotton with a three and a dunk here. Looks in like the fourth quarter. maybe run a little time off yep. the clock. And Coach Simpson's going to call timeout because somebody wasn't where they were supposed to be. It's we're back at Lima Senior, a Mexican Financial Services timeout. We're tonight, our instant replays have been sponsored by Web Insurance Agency, serving Lima and Allen County for more than 100 years, with offices in downtown Lima and in Bluffton. Spartans up 14. You can tell Coach Simpson, he's doing some coaching, Chris, that somebody wasn't where they're supposed to be. He wanted to let them know about it. Well, and he has three timeouts left, now two, so that, that's a good timeout. But I don't think it's my imagination. The intensity has really picked up in the last couple of minutes, hasn't it? It really has. They came out of the fourth quarter, uh, out of the halftime break, a little bit lethargic perhaps. But they responded well, and they have carried that especially into quarter number four. And now with 3.04 to go, have a 14-point lead. However, Central Catholic can knock down threes. They're averaging more than five a game, maybe six a game, and, and they're a little bit under that average. So... Uh, I, I, this game is not over. Keyshawn Johnson knocks the basketball out of bounds. This is trying to be entered by Marion Glenn. They're going to give him a little bit different look this time to Wilson in the backcourt. Here's look. Glenn, skip pass, Cotton, Hutchins on top. And Wilson, again, only... Th Three team fouls on the Irish, so they could be very aggressive and not put Lima Senior to the free throw line. There's a hold right there as Amarion Glenn was trying to get to the rim. We had all ten players on the court <laughs> higher than the top of the key, which doesn't happen very often. Yeah, that we did. Keyshawn Johnson gets has foul. That's the two on him. Nobody's in any foul trouble for either team, and each team now has four. Team fouls in half. Here comes uh, Brandon Moore back into the game and will replace Jagger Hutchins. To 
Wilson in the backcourt. He's matched up with Bishop. Here comes a trap. Good play by Wilson to spot that. Glenn's going to get a three look out of the corner. That was halfway down and came out, and Brenneman rebounds. Under two and a half. Here's a three. Just what you talked about. Keyshawn Johnson splashes his second three of the evening. The lead goes to 11 at 210. Triple team. He is, and fights his way out of it. And then headed to the rim was Brandon Moore, and he will draw a foul. Well, if you got three guys on you, yeah. somebody's got to be open. And you know what? I think that was a good coaching move by Coach Simpson. He could have called timeout and bailed his guy out and instead made him work his way through getting through that pressure. I think that's a really good coaching move right there. Yep. Still one foul to give. Cotton throws it up. Ball is kicked out of bounds by the very active Keyshawn Johnson. Post game show coming up. We'll have Stolly Hustle Award winner. Try to snag an interview as well. And what do we got? Scramble for the ball, and it's going to be kicked by somebody. And we got an injured player as well. Did the player get kicked? I think it was kicking the ball, and I think it accidentally got him in the face. While they bring the trainer on the floor to deal with this situation, let's take a break. You're watching High School Basketball on WOSN. Tonight's scoreboard is presented by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken and Lime, Mawapak and Delphas. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, home style happens here. That was Malik Makai Leach who left the game. It looked like I think inadvertent contact got him in the face that time. This will bring number 10, Zion Jackson, into the game too with 1.48 to go. Kel Cotton is the man that he replaced. Coming off the screen, trying to get another three ball that time with Johnson. Couldn't. He's not going to get a look. Hard. Rebound Brenneman. And he's got a chance for a three-point play. Does Isaiah Brenneman. Mark, I remember when the three-point shot came into high school basketball, a coaching emphasis was when you're shooting a three, there's going to be a long rebound, and that's what happened right there. That is the case. 16 for Isaiah Brenneman to the free throw line. The lead is now nine. He can make it eight with 137 to go. Really good basketball player. Struggled a bit from the foul line this evening, but not that time. 17 for him. Here's full court pressure. And turnover. Nope. Moore wrestles it away. Mosley to the rim. And wisely says, nope, I'm going to bring it back out and run clock. And the Spartans are going to play pitch and catch. Here's Moore. Gets a three, though. Nice rebound. Oh, great rebound by Jaquel Cotton. Saved the possession. Spartans got the floor spread. There's Brenneman's going to step up and commit team foul number six. So we'll still take this one out of bounds with 66 seconds to go. Comes Zion Jackson back into the game. No, he was going to be. And then coach said not on offensive possession. I thought we were about to play defense. Look at yeah, there's and, Cotton. And, and Cotton was the one that was going to come out, so good yeah. for him. <laughs> Hustled down and yep. got to that one. He's had a couple of hustle plays in the last 30 seconds. He has. And that was a foul, which should put him at the free throw line, I believe. He's only scored three points, but he's had a pretty good floor game and played well on defense. Well, Greenlee picks up his fir first foul, and it is time for Cotton to go to the free throw line. Got five points all in this quarter. Average is 9.9 .9 per game. Six for him. He makes this when the lead goes back to double figures with 61 seconds to go. And again, 
seven for him. And as we thought, it's a defensive substitution with Zion Jackson will take his place. A little more uh, perimeter defense, a little more pressure on the on the guards. And get a senior in the game in his final home game this evening. Wilson had his hands on it, couldn't secure it. All the officials in Lima Senior's cheering section thought there was a travel. <laughs> Here's Brenneman working inside. He is really good at that drop step move. He's got 19 now in the game. And there's going to be a foul that will put more in the free throw line. See they assess the foul to when it goes to the board. That will be Michael Greenlee Jr.'s second foul. Brandon Moore, 13 points in the game. Made all four of his free throws this evening. This will be a one and one since that's team foul eight. And once again, all the Lima senior players are at the yeah. other end of the floor. It's a wise thing Coach for them Simpson to do. Coach has, has always done that. There, he sometimes uses it for instruction purposes. Sometimes he does it to make sure everybody's back defensively. Brandon I'm rebounds. I'm surprised more coaches don't do that, especially uh, late in the game like this. It used to be automatic. Maybe you would have one guy on the lane, but uh, but you don't see it as often. Greenlee tries to spin in the lane and cannot. This is Leeds. Glad to see him back in the game after that injury a moment ago. It's tipped out of bounds, and it will go out of bounds off of Brenneman. That was a good Whoops, defense. I think, I think we're going to get our officials converse on that one and maybe turn it around. Either way, that was a good defense uh, right there for Lima Sr. You know, a lot of time came off the clock. Yeah, there are some people who think that uh, they don't, they're not particularly they were going to change the call. I, they, they don't like what Coach Simpson does, but his team is used to it, and that's what matters. Yes. You know, they are used to standing there shooting free throws by themselves. They're used to having an instruction time period. If you just pull a rabbit out of a hat and did that, then that might upset the, the flow of things, but he's always done it that way, and I think it's a good move. Yep. He, he's either coaching or making sure he's getting guys back defensively. We're going to get a timeout break right here before we shoot this free throws so a full timeout. We want to remind you that this is season 18 of Sports Report. More highlights, more scores, and more stories that matter to you only on the Sports Report. Every Friday at 10, we're going to take a break. You're watching high school basketball on WSN. We had a timeout this time. That was the fourth one taken by Toledo Central Catholic. Our timeout started brought to you by Metzger Financial Services. Helping you plan your financial future, call 419-225-6067 or visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. Mark Schein and Chris Luthold here in a moment. Like about, uh, what, Chris, 25 seconds. We'll wrap this one up, and you and I will go down the floor. We'll try to get an interview. We'll have our Stally Hustle Award winner and final thoughts on this game this evening. Eight-point Spartan lead with 25 seconds to go. They go right to Brenneman. He gets doubled up inside, and the ball stripped loose, and Moore ends up with it. Another good job of defense by the Spartans. They helped really, really well, didn't they? This will be a foul that will allow Amari Glenn to go to the free throw line with 13 and a half seconds to go. Good basketball game. Amari Glenn this evening came in averaging 5.8 points per game. He's got nine this evening, including making his eighth three-point field goal of the season. This will be the final one and one as that is team foul number nine. Well, he's got a chance for uh, double figures. Well, I'm a senior. Tomorrow will be at Hilliard Bradley, playing Hilliard Bradley at Ottawa Glandorf. It's a game that you'll be able to catch on at WOSN. He makes the first free throw for point 10. They also have games left with Troutwood Madison. And then they go to Fremont Ross and Finley yet before this season comes to an end. And we head to the tournament draws on Sunday. And, and why is that at Ottawa Glendorf? Ottawa Glendorf has a big one day event. Ah, four, team, four games tomorrow with some of the top teams in the area matching up with teams from across the state. That's that's great. It's a huge day. and. A, Congratulations to OG for putting that together. Long three, splash that one down for Johnson. He's got nine in the game, all from the three-point line as the lead goes to seven and we foul again. Three possession though. Coach McLaughlin decided back during COVID days they had some discussions. We'd like to do something special in the area. 
And so they, every year now since uh, the, maybe this third year maybe, I would think, they have brought in uh, local teams that are talented, like Lima Senior, like OG. And then they match them up with someone from across the state. Free throw, good. Isaiah Wilson with point six. Spartans who uh, were four of nine from the free throw line in the win over Wetmer the other night in the fourth quarter. Not tonight. They are six of seven from the free throw line in the fourth quarter tonight. Here's another three. Short. And this one will come to an end. Lima Senior with a big fourth quarter after a somewhat shaky third quarter will take a 52-43 win over the Toledo Central Catholic Irish. Post game show coming up after this. You're watching high school basketball on WLSA. We're back at Lima Senior with Coach Simpson. Coach, you started your seniors tonight, and you started some guys who don't typically get a lot of playing time, and they responded very well, got you off to a good start. Talk about those young men. Uh, we trust them. You know, they know the expectations. They know our standards. I'm not one of those guys that's going to put those guys out there for 10 or 15 seconds and get them out. I trust them to do everything we do every day in practice. They're part of the reasons why we've had some success, so you have to reward those guys for those moments. You only get to be a senior one time, and uh, it, would be, it would be selfish of us to um, you know, belittle that situation when we get an opportunity to let those guys play. They played long enough that a couple of those guys wanted to come out. The, the Irish made a good run at you in the third quarter, and then you had two more seniors step up, Mosley and Glenn. They had a really good third quarter into the fourth quarter. You know, I don't think people realize how important Amarion Glenn has been to us since around Christmas. Um, he's put his head down. He's worked. Uh, he hadn't blamed anybody. Uh, he's, he's done fabulous defensively. He get key rebounds. He makes big shots. Uh, he wants to guard the other team's best player. Um, he's the reason why we've had some success lately. Well, you've got a big game tomorrow going up at Ottawa Glendorf, but the tournament draw is on Sunday as well. Your team is really playing well right now. You've had two great wins this week over the two top teams in the, in the conference. How, how do you feel heading into the tournament the rest of the season? I mean, we still have some room for growth, but we feel good. Um, we don't feel there's a team that you know, we're necessarily afraid of. I think there's a, a lot of tremendous teams. It's really wide open. Um, we probably think if we can win tomorrow, we'd be the number one seed. Um, that'll be good for us. But, uh, you know, at the end of the day, we lace them up just like anybody else laces up. We have to respect our opponents, uh, play hard, be solid defensively, be accountable as they have been. And if we can do those things, we feel good. Well, Coach, about a month ago, you made a commitment to be a half-court defensive team, and that has really turned your program around this year. Yeah, you know, I, I had to I had to reevaluate myself as a coach, listen to my assistants. Uh, I'm, I'm a guy that loves to press and run and jump, and we'll, we, we plan to show that during the tournament. We're working on it more now. But the guys have bought in to just really locking in, have court defensively, talking, communicating, and then giving, uh, giving our opponents one shot at it and, and getting rebounds. So it's work for us. Obviously, in the tournament, the possessions are a little longer. The game slows down a little more. Uh, so we want to try to speed teams up a little bit if we can. Hey, but if not, we trust our half-court defense. Coach Simpson, thanks for being with us. Good luck the rest of the season. Thank you. I appreciate it. All right. Thank you. We're going to bring in Chris Luthold, our next order of business to present our Stolly Hustle Award winner. Check out our highlights of tonight's Hustle Award winner on the WSN YouTube page. Chris, we talked about a couple different guys, and Coach mentioned it just a moment ago. We're going to go with Amarion Glenn this evening. I think that's a good choice, and I like what the coach said about him, how uh, people don't understand how important he is to the team. And um, he played a great floor game tonight all around, and he, he deserves the player of the game. That he does. We want to thank Marion Glenn for his performance this evening, carrying good things happening into the third and fourth quarter. Mosley did as well. That was a really good run for them. Lima Senior gets a 52-43 win this evening. We want to thank our crew this evening. That would be our director, Wayne Getz, our instant replay guy, Derek Henley, Henry, our camera people, Jacob O'Neill, Seth Hegemeyer, and Marshall Jordan. Thanks to Chris Luthol for filling in this evening, helping us out. Chris, it was a great evening. Enjoyed your commentary. Look forward to doing it again. That yeah, was a fun game, and they held uh, a good team to 43 points. It was a big weekend for a big week for Lima Senior. Wins over Whitmer as the number one team in the league, and then tied with them with Swindle Central Catholic. So big win for them this evening as well. Lima Senior takes a 52-43 win tonight. You've been watching high school basketball on WOSN. <laughs>